Claire? Claire, where are you? Your parents called, they're looking for you. What are you doing back here? I'm hiding. Well, I gathered that, but why? My parents are trying to make me go to a dentist appointment. Ah, that makes sense. Claire, could you come out for a sec? Do I have to? No, you can just sit right there. There's a story I want to tell you. Report, Lieutenant! Captain, we sustained heavy casualties. What about our weapons? All of our weapons prove useless. No matter what we do, the monster keeps coming. What are your orders? We have no other choice but to retreat. Sir, you heard me. Retreat, retreat. <laughs> Gummy? We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Ray, and this is how I learned to listen to wise leaders. And then you input the information right here. I'm never going to remember all of this. Yes, you will. Edison, the only reason I remember is because I've been doing it for so long. And you will too. But in the meantime, you can just ask me any questions that you have. That's what I'm here for. Thanks. You're a really good leader, Ray. You have a lot of wisdom and knowledge, and you share it freely with the rest of us. Thank you, Edison. That's really kind of you to say. Ow. Ow. Is something wrong? It's just a little toothache. Nothing I can't handle. You should go to the dentist. There's no reason to bother a dentist. It's just a little toothache. I can handle it. I trust you, Captain, but if it were me, I'd go to the dentist. Follow me. This is Connect HQ Hub. Thanks for the update. Ray, Edison, this is a man. Where'd she go? I told her to follow up. One minute. Follow me. Ray, Edison, this is Amanda. Hi, Amanda. Hello. Hi. She has a problem for Connect HQ. It's my parents. They're always telling me what to do. They think they know everything. Well, can you give me an example of what you mean? Oh, sure. Mom and Dad are always telling me to go to bed super early, but I love to stay up late, play video games, and watch TV late into the night. And you're wondering why you have to listen to them? Not exactly. I already talked to my friend Tina, and she said I don't have to listen to my parents. I just want to know how to get them off my back. Your friend Tina doesn't sound like a very wise person. She's a very wise person. She's an entire grade ahead of me. Yeah, but does that make her a good leader, though? Ray here is the captain of Connect HQ, and she's a very wise leader. We learn so much every day from her godly and wise instruction. Thanks, Mike. And I think we found our main point. Be wise. Learn from leaders. Ow! Are you okay? Yeah, it's just a little toothache. You should see a dentist. Edison, how, uh, is things going? How is things going? I believe the grammatically correct question is, how are things going? Yeah, that. Excellent. I believe I have located a new verse link to assist our new friend Amanda. That's good. That's good. Ray, what's going on with you? Nothing. How's your tooth? It's good as new. Ray. It's mostly fine. It, it does hurt when I say words with R's in them. 
That's terrible. You should see a dentist. That's awesome. You sound like a pirate. Yarr, me matey. <gasps> Say there she blows. I've got a better idea. Let's just get back to the first link. Edison. It's from the book of Proverbs, chapter one, verse eight. I'm still getting the hang of this. I hope I do the motions right. Say it like this. Proverbs 1, 8. Ha. Herbs. Excuse me. Shiver me timbers. Is she going to be okay? Well, if she goes to the dentist, she'll be all right. Here, show me the verse like. Proverbs 1, 8. Proverbs 1, 8. My child, listen when your father corrects you. My child, listen when your father corrects you. Don't neglect your mother's instruction. Don't neglect your mother's instruction. That's awesome. I'm pretty sure that'll help Amanda see that parents know more than we do and it would be foolish to not listen to their wisdom. It's not just parents either. God gave us leaders like coaches and teachers with more wisdom than us. We'd be wise to turn to them when we have questions or when something is wrong. Now, if we can convince Ray that it would be wise to see a dentist. Hey, that's mine. It clearly says Mike's candy, do not eat. But I was hungry. But didn't anyone ever teach you you shouldn't take other people's stuff unless you ask for permission? Sure, my dad says that all the time. He sounds like a wise man. I Right. You don't think you need help from wise people. <sighs> Seems to be a lot of that going around. A lot of what going around? Oh, you know. Mm. People ignoring the wisdom of those who know more than they do. I don't need to see a dentist. All I needed to do is put a little cold to the tooth. I figured out the answer on my own. Oh, so you're all better? Yeah, all better. 100% better. See? Well, great. Let's celebrate with gummies. Gummies. Yeah. One for me, and one for Ray. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That was great. Oh, awesome. Thanks. <laughs> no, 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 no. You can't just celebrate with a one. Here, have some more. I'd love to. been ruminating over our current situation. I, I, I mean, I was thinking about what's been going on. Sometimes it's difficult for me being the new guy around here. I don't always understand how things work or why we do things a certain way. You've helped me very much explaining how things work and correcting me when I do something wrong, but not in a mean way sharing all your wisdom with me. You are very wise about all things Connect HQ, but sometimes the wise even need wisdom. You need to go to the dentist. What, what's going on? People usually don't let me talk this long. It's your mouth, isn't it? It hurts so much you can't talk altogether. An, an alarm? It sounds like it's coming from the hub. You, you want me to stay here? What is going on here? I must have fallen asleep. You set off the alarm. Didn't you hear it? No. I can sleep through anything. I fall asleep at school all the time. That's not good. Who am I talking to? 
you fall asleep in class because you stay up way too late. If you would listen to your parents' wisdom and go to bed early, you would be full of energy. But my friend Tina says it's cooler to stay up late. <sighs> Tina's not a good leader. A good leader cares about others, and if Tina cared about you, she wouldn't be giving you this kind of advice. It's better to seek wisdom from a leader who cares and wants what's best for you. Like my parents? Exactly. Let me show you what I mean with the story of King Rehoboam. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. Is alive. First Kings. After King Solomon died, his son Rehoboam became king. Yay! I'm the king now. The people sent a leader to the new king to speak up for them. So, how's everything going? Not so good. Listen, we've worked hard for your father. He made us pay lots of taxes and forced us to work building his palaces. Please give us some rest, and we'll be willing to serve you. Hmm. I'll tell you what. Give me three days to think it over, then come back. King Rehoboam decided to talk it over with the same men who gave his father, King Solomon, wise advice. So what should I do? How do you think I should answer the people? If you will be a servant to the people, have compassion, and work things out with them, they'll end up doing anything for you. Yes, Your Majesty. That would be the wise thing to do. Hey, I'm not sure you guys are right. After all, you guys are old. What do you guys think? Should I lighten up on the people? Now tell me what you really think. After all, we have grown up together. <sighs> uh, forget about what those old geezers told you. Yeah, the people are just being a bunch of whiners. Hey, I know what you should tell them. Tell them my little finger is thicker than my father's waist. If you think my dad worked you hard, you haven't seen the half of it. Yeah, and then you should say, my dad hit you with whips, but I'll beat you up with chains. That'll show him who's king. You guys are right. Those old guys don't even know what they're talking about. Three days later, Jeroboam and the people showed up to hear what King Rehoboam had to say. Hey, if you think my dad worked you hard, you haven't seen half of it. My dad hit you with whips, but I'll beat you up with chains. What do you think about that? Get lost, King Rehoboam. We've had it with you. Go ahead, go. What do I care? Because King Rehoboam didn't listen to the wise advice of his leaders, the kingdom of Israel was split in half. Instead of ruling over all of Israel, as his father Solomon did, King Rehoboam only ruled over the towns of Judah. The rest of the tribes went with Jeroboam, and he ruled over them. See, there's always going to be people wiser than us. Some wisdom comes from experience, and some comes from years of schooling. Like my teacher? Exactly. And some wisdom is godly wisdom, like Rehoboam's older advisors. Rehoboam certainly would have been a better king if he had just listened to their wisdom. I guess you can get in trouble if you don't have good leaders. I think you're on the right track now, Amanda. Oh, so now do you see what you need to do in your own life? Yes. I need to listen to my parents. And I need to go to the dentist. Ow. <laughs> go ahead, Amanda. It's like what you said earlier. Be wise, learn from leaders. If I want to grow up to be a leader myself, then I need to listen. My parents are the leaders of our house, and I can learn a lot from them. And I learned... Ow that leaders like me, we don't know everything. How? We can always find something new to learn from those that are much wiser than us. Like Ow. a dentist. Like a dentist. Thanks, Connect HQ. I better go. I gotta get to bed early tonight. 
Bye, Amanda. Bye. Bye, Amanda. Ray here, back from the dentist and good as new. None of us knows everything. We need to rely on the wisdom of leaders. And that all begins with our parents, the very first leaders that we meet. It's all right there in our Bible verse. Say it with me. Proverbs 1, 8. My child, listen when your father corrects you. Don't neglect your mother's instruction. Rehoboam, even though he was the king, still didn't know everything. There were leaders who were wiser and more experienced than him. Unfortunately, King Rehoboam did not follow their advice, and the entire kingdom was torn apart. Amanda and I refused to listen to the wisdom of others. She was listening to friends who didn't always care what happened to her, and I thought I could handle a sore tooth on my own. We both learned the wise choice is to follow wise leaders that care about us and want the best for us. It all comes back to the main point. Be wise, learn from leaders. So go out there and find some godly leaders to follow. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. You see, Claire, it's not always fun going to the dentist, but you have good parents. They know what's best for you. I guess that makes sense. And can kids really give others wise advice too? Oh, for sure. I mean, if I'm doing something foolish, I absolutely want you to tell me. In that case, that hairstyle really isn't working for you. What? Really? I thought this was what all the hit kids were. Okay, no taken. You're right. I'll go back to my old hairstyle. Good idea. I guess I'd better get home and get ready for my appointment. That sounds like a good idea as well. You'll do great. So lucky Claire gave me a heads up about my hair before everyone at Connect saw me. Dot would have had a field day. I would have never heard the end of it. I think I could have rocked it. I, I could have brought it back. No, you couldn't. No one could. I don't know what I was thinking. If you want to learn to be wise, no one can teach you more about wisdom than God. And if you want to choose to follow Jesus, you can make that decision today. Just remember your A, B, C's. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is the leader of your life and your number one friend. And if you made that choice today, be sure to talk about it with a parent or leader you trust.